Electrical cardioversion, or simply cardioversion, is a medical procedure that uses electrical shocks to treat abnormal heart rhythms, arrhythmias, in particular, tachycardias. The procedure is done by delivering a brief current across the chest through a pair of manual paddles or adhesive hands-free patches. Cardioversion is different from defibrillation. Defibrillation is an emergency procedure that uses non-synchronized, high-energy shocks to treat cardiac arrest patients. Cardioversion, on the other hand, is often an elective procedure delivering a lower-energy shock that is synchronized to a certain stage of the cardiac cycle. The heart is essentially a muscle that contracts and pumps blood. Contractions of the heart muscle are coordinated by electrical impulses that are initiated in the heart's natural pacemaker, the SA node. The firing frequency of the SA node determines the heart rate. The signals from the SA node spread through the cardiac conduction system in a synchronized manner to produce regular heartbeats. Arrhythmias occur when abnormal electrical circuits override the normal conduction. Common abnormal rhythms are either initiated from ectopic sites outside the SA node or caused by an electrical impulse that travels around in a localized self-perpetuating loop called a reentrant pathway. Cardioversion depolarizes the bulk of cardiac muscles simultaneously, disrupting the abnormal electrical circuits, allowing the heart's pacemaker to regain control and restore normal rhythms. The delivery of the shock is synchronized to the QRS complex, which represents ventricular depolarization. This timing is critical to prevent the R on T phenomenon, which could put the patient into cardiac arrest. Electrical cardioversion is most effective in treating arrhythmias that arise from a single reentrant circuit, such as atrial flutter, AV nodal reentrant tachycardia, AVNRT, or atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia. AVRT. Arrhythmias that result from multiple circuits typically require higher energy shocks to be treated successfully. Cardioversion is often scheduled in advance as an elective procedure, but it can also be used as an emergency treatment for patients who still have a pulse but are hemodynamically unstable. Stable patients with arrhythmias are usually treated with medications first in a process known as chemical or pharmacological cardioversion. During electrical cardioversion, the patient is sedated. The defibrillator is set to synchronize mode, and R waves are tracked. A brief electrical current is sent during the time of an R wave through two electrode patches or paddles placed on the chest, one on each side of the heart. The result should be immediate. If the first attempt is unsuccessful, subsequent higher energy shocks may be performed. The procedure itself takes only a few minutes. Though uncommon, several complications may occur with cardioversion. The procedure can either cause a new blood clot to form or a pre-existing clot, such as in patients with atrial fibrillation, to dislodge and travel to the brain, resulting in stroke. Use of a blood thinner before cardioversion can reduce this risk. Cardioversion can sometimes lead to development of a new arrhythmia. This typically occurs a few minutes after the procedure, in which case, Medications or additional shocks can be given as a remedy. Other complications are related to sedation, skin burns at the site of contact with the electrodes, and rarely heart tissue damage due to high energy or repeated shocks.